everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jonna, and if you're new here, say hi to me down in the comments, please, so I can say hi back to you. And if you're coming back for a visit, thank you. I do appreciate you. I have been busy, 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 okay? <laughs> What's new, right? <laughs> I, um, this is the second half of a Dollar Tree, so if you mix the first, if you miss the first half, I will pin it at the end, and you can go watch it, but it is a combo, Dollar Tree, 99 cent store, I put them together in the other one, and I'm putting them together in this one, it's different stuff, but I got a lot of stuff. So I got the uh, coffee again, the cold brew, I went back, because the ones I had, expired. They weren't expired, but their best sell-by date was the 12th or 13th. So I figured they're good for a couple days after that, probably, because it was a sell-by, not a use-by date. And then I got these new ones, and they are five... I think it's 5.15. Anyway, I got the Bold Rich Brazilian Cold Brew, and this is a medium to dark roast. This is the one we seem to prefer the most. And then there is the medium roast, which is a Colombian which is very good too, but it's a lighter roast. And I talked about this before. I tend to get a little bit jittery on a light roast. So I like to start stick to the dark. And I drink a lot of coffee, so I don't want to get jittery because then I feel like I can't drink anymore. Okay, so I got those. I got two of these and one of these. And it looks like they're going to get them regularly because they got another group of a later expiration date or sell by date. They're not expiration dates. They're sell by dates. Okay. Let me pop these back in the refrigerator and I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> I'm back. Another thing I got at the 99 cent only store. was uh bread they usually have a lot of bread this was a dollar 29 it is rustic uh sourdough and this is bold california sourdough and slow baked with simple ingredients and this one uh they also had a wheat they actually had quite a few wheat they only had a few that weren't wheat and this is the date. Okay, the date on this is April 21st. So I got this, well, I got this yesterday, and today is the 14th. So this is good for another week. So this is, this was fresh when I got it. Um, if it's something, if you do stock up, and this is a hearty sourdough. I don't know if you can tell, but this is a nice, uh, and I don't know if you've seen that brand, the Rustic Oven. Um, it's a good bread. It's a good heavy bread. Okay. So I got that, and you can't touch bread for $1.29. I also got this now. I don't think I paid too much more in the store. Probably one eighty nine. I paid one. I think these were ninety nine cents. Um, at the let's see, yeah, ninety nine cents. But I do use the grill mates, and they had several different kinds: the egg marinade, and they had a um, maybe a mesquite. Also, they had a couple brands. But I got this. I buy it all the time, so I know it's good. And it is 23. So it's best by February of 23, we'll say. Um, I'll use it long before that. Then I got um, 
99 cent only store um, saltines. And these were $1.29. Um, and I only got these because my sister had mentioned she went to the store and she forgot to get the saltines. Or not, she forgot. She said they didn't have any in the store. So when I was at the 99 cent, I got these. And these are the little Dutch made. You know, it's a name brand. They're fine. And they had another brand too. Um, I can't remember the name. It's a normal name too, a typical name. Uh, I think they were 149. So these are 129. I got them. Saltines. Okay. I don't usually buy a lot of food, but, uh, oh, and they did have, they didn't have the Giardelli bars that I got last Christmas. The unsweetened baking chocolate Giardellis I got last Christmas. Very good. Well, they didn't have those at the 99 cent, but what they had were the chocolate chips for baking, and they were also unsweetened, no sugar. So if you're on a low carb or something, you make fat bombs or you make anything with chocolate, um, an artificial sweetener you can put in. Uh, they do have, and they're dollar ninety nine for a. I don't know if it's a. I don't know the size. It's a regular size, whatever the bag of uh, the baking chocolate chips are. Yeah. So I thought that, I almost got them, and I thought, oh, I'm not really on my keto right now, which I should be, but. I put off. Okay. Dollar Tree. Are you ready? Okay. Here's some stuff I got at the Dollar Tree. And um, Cushy Foot. Have you heard of it? Cushy Foot. These are Fleecy Leopard. So these are flats to go. And they come in this cute little bag. Now... I don't wear high heels, but my daughter does, or even any kind of shoe. If you want to just throw some flats on. And there are these little flats. So you can slip these on, take your heels off, give your feet a rest, and you can carry these in your backpack or your purse or what have you. You can put them in this little case, which is really cute. Flats on the go, and they're and they're that really nice uh, that leopard. I don't know if you really saw that very well. Let me show you again. Break this little snap. So I'm gonna do that nice leopard print and um, non-slip. They're just cute. Cute to have. I think she'll wear them. You can wear them in the house. It's like a slipper. You know, if you don't, we don't wear, I don't wear shoes in the house. I don't think my sister does either, but um, I kick them off. Okay. So cushy foot, flats on the go. They're just nice to save your feet if they're tired and you want to kick the heels off and you still need to have shoes on. Okay. Then I got some bath salts. They had a lot of different kinds. They have body wash. They have bath salts. They had a uh, moisturizer. They had face cream. Anyway, this is Calm Nourishing and Hydrating Hibiscus Rose. And it is in a resillable bag, supposedly. You know how that goes. These are never what they say. Oh, it smells really good. Uh, hibiscus. I can smell the hibiscus and the rose. And uh, they have a lot of different scents. They have lavender. They had... Um, Different ones, I can't even remember. But anyway, I got this. I use bath salts a lot. And mainly with bath salts, they are, um, mag Epsom salts is the basic ingredient of bath salts. So, um, and then they put their scent in there. So 
The main thing, the Epsom salt is really what does you, uh, is great for your muscles and your, uh, and to help you relax. All right. Another thing, and those were Bolero, by the way. Bolero has a huge, huge line. I don't know why. I thought Bolero was a Greenbrier product, but it's not. This doesn't say Greenbrier, and they have a lot of Bolero, a lot of Bolero uh, products, and they're coming out with more and more. So it is not a Greenbrier, as far as I know. Okay, then I got this big bag. Look at this, Nutter Butters. OMG, can I say that? This is reclosable sack. This is where I saw it. And um, made with real peanut butter. Well, we know what Nutter Butters are. And this is a pretty big size bag. Uh, it says eight servings. And eight ounces so I guess an ounce a serving this is a pretty big bag of nutter butters dollar 25 I was excited I have my uh, receipt I gotta scan a bunch of receipts I think I'm due to get a, a fetch gift card okay nutter butter another thing I got was a little treat now I got one of these black ice I thought it smelled like men's cologne it's a great for a man's car it does smell a lot like men's cologne um it was fine i mean the car smells fine it's a nice scent but um it's not very girly you know so this is a cherry i saw they had cherry and i thought oh i'm gonna get it so i got this at the dollar tree and then at the 99 cent store i saw they have Ocean Breeze, they have Linen, they have Lemon, they have every scent. So the next time I'm probably going to get it at 99 cent store because it's cheaper because it's 99 cents. And they, uh, I think Lemon or Ocean Breeze or Linen or something, a clean smell, more what I want in the car. But anyway, we got Cherry. That's what we'll use next. Okay, guys, that's it for today. I hope you go watch part one if you didn't see it. And I will see you again real soon. Have a happy Easter and take care, you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.